To me, it's a no-brainer. I love it. For Jeff Ford and his daughter, Rachel, shaving their head has become a family tradition. Oh yeah, it's one of my favorite days of the year. Jeff has participated in St. Baldrick's head shaving fundraiser since it started at UH eight years ago. And we're making a difference by just, you know, getting my hair cut, which seemed like ridiculous, but uh, it, it meant something to people, and especially to the kids. Rachel, she's been participating for two years. It's crazy, it's, it's awesome, it's, it's just, it means so much. And while this event has been a big part of their lives, this year is more personal than ever for the father-daughter duo. October last year, I noticed a um, lump in my neck, which I thought was just uh, like a muscle knot. Um, so I would just like massage it, try to get it um, to feel better, and, and it wouldn't go away. She came here to UH Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital to get it checked out. And in January, she was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. It was definitely really, really hard in the beginning. After the initial shock and fear of the diagnosis, Rachel then looked at how she can continue to help others. She immediately was like, well, we need to make a team. And so she put together a team uh, on the, I mean, the, one of her first thoughts was how can we turn this into doing something uh, to help other, other people. He's a secretary. While Rachel continues her fight undergoing chemotherapy, her outlook is positive. It's, prognosis is good. We're, 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 we're feeling good about that. Uh, not everybody can say that. For the Fords, this year the script has been flipped. I've shaved my head twice before um, for people with cancer, and then now it's now I'm shaving my dad's head for myself in a way. And it's, it's a very weird turn of events, but it's kind of cool to think about. But their mission, it remains the same. She's going to beat this, and then we're going to help, hopefully, through research, help other people beat it too. So here we are. Let's shave some heads. <laughs> And Shaving Heads is what they're going to be doing, and we're going to be seeing more live on television at 6.30, uh, where we have one of the doctors that is really uh, doing a lot of great things here at UH. But also, t take a look who we have here. We, we have Jeff, who was just featured in the story. And Jeff, obviously, this year is going to be different for you. You're going to be getting your head shaved by Rachel at 10 o'clock. What's that going to mean to you? Uh, it's going to mean a lot. I mean, every year it's a privilege just to be here and be a part of this. But yeah, this year it's definitely a little more personal. Yeah. Um, but because this, uh, this event exists, because this research exists, uh, th there's a treatment that we're putting our hope in. And so if we can uh, shave heads to create hope for other people, then uh, I'm all for that. So I'm, I'm excited about the opportunity. And it's, it's going to be a little, bit, yeah. a little bit emotional this year, I think, more so than usual. But uh, I can't wait. So. Yeah. Definitely. Well, thanks so much for, for being here and what you're doing. And of course, we're all thinking about you and, and your family as you guys are, are going through this. But $71,000 already been raised. And you can, uh, even if you don't come down to the event, you can do just donate. I have, I've tweeted out a link to that uh, on my Twitter, Austin Love TV. So what, what a great uh, foundation and, uh, and fundraiser to get involved with here this morning, guys. Austin, yes. your story was just so touching. Yeah. 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 It really is. Yeah, Austin, thanks. Yeah, this is one of the biggest areas for St. Baldrick's. Yes. And we are one of the biggest fundraising areas. Channel 3 has been so, a part of this for a long time. A long time. Yeah. We've been involved in these events and it's fun to see as this grows when you're out at the grocery store or you're at church and you start to see these shaved heads yeah. and when you're aware of St. Baldrick's you know that those people got involved and you just see more and more. Right. Yeah. Well, it's a good way to kick off a Friday when you see a story like that.